Hey, hello friends. Welcome to my channel, SAP SD and ABAP League Support. So there is a request from um, business that whenever they change the root, the sales order item level, then uh, the repricing should happen automatically. Now let's see how to achieve this requirement and which user exit that we should use here. Okay, let me log into the system. Okay, let me try to open one order now. So VBAK. Okay, I will take this uh, order 578 and Okay. Okay, suppose if I want to do the repricing in this order, okay, then what I will do, I will click this update. Then uh, you can see here, so we have different options to decide how the repricing should happen, right? Or else what I can do in the menu edit, you see the new pricing document. If we do the repricing, the item level means that is applicable to that particular item. Okay. And if I do it in that menu level, edit and a new price document, then it will be done for entire document. Right. So it should happen, the replace should happen automatically whenever they change root in the order level. So whenever they change the root, then it should uh, do the replacing automatically. In some other cases, whenever they change the shipping point or plant or shipping condition in the header level, in the material situations, replacing should happen automatically whenever the field value changes. Okay, how to achieve this? To achieve this, we need to use the program MV45AFZB is the include program. Okay, MV45AFZB. So this contains one user exit, user exit, new P pricing underscore VBAP. This is the user exit available in this include where we can add our logic to do the repricing whenever root getting changed. In our case it is root, in some other case it might be different thing. So this is the user exit, right? So I am going to suppose I am going to change this. See this is display now, display mode now. Let me go to the change mode first. See, even though I am change mode, I am not able to add any code inside this user exit. We need an access sequence to do this, right? And moreover, writing a logic or code in the user exit is not recommended. So what we can do, we can go with the implicit enhancement option. Okay, so let me mention that. Okay, need to create implicit enhancement in this user exit. How to create that? 
right first we need to go to the menu edit here we can see enhancement operations and here we should select show implicit enhancement options click this one okay so it is saying that we can add that uh, create implicit enhancement in the starting of the form or end of the form okay so i will put the cursor starting of this line you see the line here right put this cursor here then uh, click this enhance option after that i need to click on create so let's create a new enhancement now it's uh, taking some time it is loading for long time okay so if you see there is already some code written inside this user entity right but that is committed out so what we are going to do we are going to create a new implicit enhancement and we will add the same code there also okay so let it open yeah the logic is very simple so at this point of time so so what logic is that if uh, star vbap root not equal to vbap root okay star vbap contains that uh, new value or old value or vbap might contains same thing so i don't i'm not exactly sure which contains the new value and which is contains the old value but any one of them having the old or new value so we're comparing old with the new value then if it is true then what we are doing we are using this variable new underscore pricing equal to xr above true okay end if sorry it's a b right mm. so b means carry out new pricing okay look okay, it is still loading if i show you in that uh, system in the conditions tab if we click update you see we have some options here b means carry out new pricing c means copy manual price elements and determine others right like this we have some options here so in case of these changes what options that we are expecting how the price should carried out that we can decide here okay and if it's a capital g means redetermine only the tax condition types you see redetermine only the taxes so according to our requirement we can add this a b c or d or g something whatever we need okay so it is loading for long time anyways i can show this uh, how to create this enhancement in another session also but this is how we should use this user exit new pricing vbap to do the repricing automatically and one more user exit also available and the same new pricing let me show you that also the same include okay let me display this
okay this time i will give instead of vbip is vbkd so there are two kind of user exit available one for vbip one is vbkd okay and you see here it's an vbkd and you see some code has been written which is committed to it already if uh, pricing list type not equal to right that time also they are carry outing the changes right so reprice these two user results we can use it and do the validation then apply the repricing okay let me note it down that one also second one right this time it is vb kd so we can use either of these two user exits to fulfill our requirement okay fine friends we can catch up in the next video thanks everyone bye for now